Olympic Lyon have a rich history in French football. They've won Liga seven times. But recently, with PSG and the insane money that they have, nobody else has been able to compete. But today, we're gonna change that. I'm gonna become the manager of Lyon, and my goal is to make them not just the best team in France, but the best team in the world. It's time to begin our project with Lyon by first assessing the squad. Okay, there is a lot of talent in here. Lacazette's gonna get us goals, that's for sure. I think he's got that ability. Awar in midfield, he was one of like the hottest prospects in football. He's kind of dwindled away, but maybe we can reignite his career. The midfield is definitely looking like the best part of this team. Kakaret and Toliso, brilliant. At the back, some good options. Tagliafico, Lukeba as well. Every time I see Jerome Boateng, it just reminds me of that messy moment. Anthony Lopez in goal is perfect. One player I really love here is Ryan Chedki. I think we could make him the best French player in the world. And that's saying something because Mbappe exists. But I I really feel like he's got what it takes so you know just just keep an eye out we might develop Cherki into something special and we've still got some really good options here like Dembele, Favre, Rene Adelaide it's a good team yet of course it's not perfect in real life Olympic Leo right now on 10th and there's got to be a reason for that we do have about 39 million as I said we're not PSG we don't have 250 million to just spend on whoever we want we're gonna have to be very smart with our signings already by looking at this team I think the improvements that need to be made our defense why do we have a left back in that right back position we also need a better center back than jerome Bartang. Uh, that 44 Bruh. pace ain't gonna do it for me and so we head into the transfer market to make our first signing and we're actually gonna negotiate with another french club it's monaco and we're trying to sign axel de Sarsi from them a really talented player as i said we're not psg we're gonna have to be so smart with our negotiations save as much money as we can so we can get at least a couple of good players this window but oh my god what is that counter offer the negotiations are still going on but this is tough they've come down to 24.2 million can we settle at 23 please let's go that's a relief and so with that we make our first signing it's a center back axel de Sarsi. not bad at all in football they say if you want to have success you gotta build from the back and that's exactly what we're doing with that boom we've got de Sarsi going straight into the starting 11 now with the remaining 14 million it's obvious we need to bring in a right back in all honesty i really wanted to sign benjamin and Pavard. I think it'd be perfect. He wants to leave Bayern in real life, but it's just too expensive. So I found another youngster. This one is more of a wonder kid who we'll need to make a bet on. 74 rated, 19 years old, playing for Girona. Arnau Martinez. I've heard he's been linked with Barcelona and Atletico Madrid as well, so he's a bit of a baller. I like these stats. You know what? Let's do it. Once again, we gotta be very stingy. I'm gonna start with 8 million to see what they say. Ooh, they want Jerome Boateng in return. This might be really good for us because we can use the excess money for anything else, maybe. I don't even know, but you know what? They're willing to do this. And so we've completed a bit of a ridiculous swap deal. Jerome Boateng is leaving and in comes Arnau Martinez. Apart from signing players with Olympic Lyon, we're going to have a lot of interest in our talented players. Offers coming in for the likes of Awa from AC Milan, Real Betis and whatnot. And it was tough rejecting these. I was not against selling a player like Awa, but if I was going to sell him, I need enough money to sign a better player so i count out with 50 million let's see what ac milan says and looks like they're not willing to pay that guys i'm willing to sell my players if the big clubs come but it has to be at the right price it was almost time for the french league season to begin we'd invested well with de Sassi and arnau martinez coming in the only thing that's left is to see how this team feels on the pitch it's now time for our first game of the season i'm actually excited to test out the team see where the improvements are needed see what's working and what's not they should be fun. Oh, Lacazette has just managed to run the full length of the field, and what? Lacazette? That was sublime, and there's his celebration as well. Our first goal as Leo manager. We'll take that. And so we win our first game courtesy of a Lacazette goal, and I found out a lot about the team from this game. I can't lie, the defensive signings we've made, oh boy, have they strengthened the team really well. But offensively, we've got problems. Lacazette's a good finisher, but we couldn't get the ball to him. That's why I feel like we need a creative player like Royan Cher keep playing down the left side so you know what at the young age of 18 i'm gonna make this kid a starter we're gonna develop him and make him one of the world's best players on the right side tete who's on loan he's brazilian but i'm not i'm not seeing that flair from him so i'm thinking Favre. hopefully i'm saying his name right left footed 24 years old he looks good we'll use him as a starter we're almost nearing the end of the transfer window i think we have money left about 17 million but i really don't think i want to improve the team right now i want to 
to keep that for January, just in case. I told you, Ryan Chedki has got something special about him, and he's going to bring in that creativity. Oh, Chedki gets the ball now. Looking inside. Good pass. Doliso. Come on, what a goal. Let's go, Cherky picking up an assist. We take those. Cherky getting in behind. He's done all the hard work. And wow, that is brilliant. Ryan Cherky is loving life down the left-hand side. Go on. Wow, that dribble was unreal as he keeps going. He keeps going. He keeps going. Oh my God. That might be one of the craziest dribble goals I've ever scored. Ryan Cherky, that is one way of announcing yourself to the footballing world. His first goal this season. With Cherky being in the form of his life, his overall was flying upwards as well. And after 10 games in Liga, we genuinely might have a shot for the title if things go our way. For some reason, PSG are absolutely bottling it. And maybe if these boys can capitalize, we can have a title race. Which is crazy because I don't expect this team in its first season to be able to compete with the very best. And so this is it. Lyon versus PSG. A chance to announce the revival of our club in French football. If we can beat PSG, I think we can start dreaming this season. I was fully expecting to get a reality check and get outclassed by PSG, but you won't believe what happened. Go on, Lacazette. We've exposed PSG. We've exposed PSG. Oh, what a finish from Lacazette. Maybe be this season we're gonna be contenders and not pretenders this is incredible one nil up we were leading and controlling this game but then i made a silly mistake oh no what have i just done what have i just done a player sent off while we were doing so well a silly mistake like that just shows the lack of experience we've got we're a man down we need to sacrifice someone and make some changes i, I really don't know what to do i think i'm gonna sacrifice favre and play mendez at center back and we can have cherky and lacazette you know the two of them play up top let's just hope this works being a man down meant that psg were just coming at us ruthlessly no psg oh Oh my god, we're so lucky. Oh no, Mbappe is just using his pace, releases the ball. Ekatike with the chance. What is happening here? We gotta survive somehow. The team have defended so well. Let's clear the ball away. And we somehow do. No, killing Mbappe. Oh, that's too cheeky. Too cheeky, and we just couldn't survive. No, this could get worse. This could get worse. Hakimi, ball inside. Ekitike scores. One mistake is going to end up costing us the game. No, Mbappe, stop it now. Stop it. Killing Mbappe scores, and that's it. It's done. We tried, but as I said, that was a costly red card. Now, that result did derail our momentum, but the team knew that if things would have gone our way, no red card, we were able to compete with PSG. And so we kept fighting, and in January, even after losing to PSG, we're top of the league, although it's super tight with PSG and Marseille being just one point behind us. Do you remember that insane Monaco season where they had Mbappe, Bernardo Silva and all, and they managed to win the league? I think we might be able to replicate that. But to do that, I think we'll need some reinforcements. The good thing is, we have about 17 million, we can make it count. The only way we'll be able to make any meaningful improvements to the team is by selling a first team player and reinvesting that. And so we got an offer from Dortmund for Tolisso. 29.7 million for a 28-year-old. I think we need to take it, but I'm not going to give up just yet. I want to try and get as much money out of this as possible. So 37 million, that's actually going to work. I think that's brilliant. And so we make a massive, massive decision to sacrifice quarantine Tolisso. We need to bring in a baller in midfield now. Otherwise, this is going to be a complete waste. With that, our budget is up to 52 million million. But I wasn't done yet. We already had Lacazette at striker and I was wondering what's the point of having Moussa Dembele? We've already got Amin Saar at the club who joined recently at Leo. He's a decent backup option for this first season. Why not just sell Moussa Dembele and use the cash elsewhere? And look at this offer we've just got. 33 million for Moussa. And so we've sold Moussa Dembele as well in the quest to bring in more money to potentially sign a superstar that can help us win Liga this season. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm literally sacrificing quality squad depth in the hopes of bringing in a superstar. With Dembele gone, our budget is 82 million.
in, we can spend that to bring in a baller for that midfield role. And so with the money coming in from Moussa Dembele, we've made our biggest signing yet. One of the best young players in world football and a player from Real Madrid. Yes, guys, we've made the signing of Eduardo Camavinga to Olympic Leo. It was actually not that expensive. 54 million for Camavinga is, is a steal. With Camavinga into the team, I'm loving that midfield. It's, it's so young. It's so good. The potential is brilliant. Exciting times ahead for Leo. We still had 27 million, but I didn't want to make a signing to upset the team. Camavinga was the only signing I was looking at. We've made it happen, and that's our team. And let's see if we can shock the world by winning Liga in our first season itself. In our quest to win Liga, we've got one of our biggest games of the season coming up next. It's Leo versus Marseille. If we can win this game, there's a genuine shot at us winning the title. We'll go top of the league. It took literally three minutes to see the quality that Kamavinga brings. Oh, Kamavinga, how has he just broken through? I don't think anyone expected that. Oh, lovely assist. That was superb from Kamavinga. What a moment for the young Frenchman. Lacazette keeps scoring, but Kamavinga is adding a new dimension to our team. Lacazette looking for Ryan Cherky. Sees a pass inside for Kamavinga. Can't believe it. He's actually scored on his debut for Leo. We might just end up winning the league title with this man coming into the club. With the win against Marseille, we managed to leapfrog them in the table. And now after 28 games, 64 points, one point behind PSG. And our next game is at the Parc des Princes. And if we can beat them there, we might just be champions of France. And you know what? This might be the moment to strike because, well, PSG have just suffered a massive set back. They're out of the Champions League from the round of 16 by Leipzig. That's going to really affect them mentally and we can take advantage. The big advantage for us is that PSG are playing this literally a couple of days after their Champions League game. They're going to have tired legs. This was it. This was our moment to make Lyon champions of France and we weren't going to let this opportunity slip. Ryan Cherky looking for Kamavinga. No way. No way. Kamavinga against PSG as well. This is going to go down as one of the greatest signings ever. One up. Come on. Although we were one nil up, do not forget they've got Kylian Mbappe in their team. And finally, he had his chance. No Mbappe. No Mbappe, please. Oh, he's missed. Kylian Mbappe. This has not been his season. That's huge. That could be a deciding factor in the title race. With Mbappe's miss, PSG's morale was down and it was time for us to capitalize. Awar. Oh, it's so special to find Kamavinga. And now, like you said, that was so well worked. The goal to sink PSG and the goal that could possibly win us the title. And yes, guys, the win against PSG is ultimately enough for us to clinch the league up title. This is unbelievable. What a moment this is for Lacazette. Just like Lille, just like Monaco, we've come up against all odds and managed to make Lyon the champions of France. What a season, man. Two points by which we managed to win the league. Also, look at Lacazette. It's a ridiculous season from him. Lacazette's won golden boot. He's won player of the tournament. Don't know if we can hold on to him next season with this kind of form. We've managed to restore Lyon's French glory, but there is still a lot more to achieve. Time for season two heading into season two and we start things off by getting a massive transfer offer for alexander lacazette and the club is inter milan 47.7 million honestly lacazette did his job for us got us the league if he wants to join inter i don't think i should be the guy stopping him so we're just gonna run with it and so we've come to a conclusion at 49.4 million lacazette is being sold i cannot lie it is definitely a bit of a sad start to season two he was so good for us but hey, if he wants to leave, it is what it is. With Olympic Lyon, big clubs are going to come and take away our players. The good thing is we managed to secure 50 million for a 32 year old. But now we need to start planning for season two. I think we've convinced everyone else to stay so we shouldn't have any more surprise departures. But now that we've won Liga, our goal is of course the big one, the Champions League. But to win that, we're gonna need a lot more than just good players. We need experienced, high quality players who've been in those instances. And that is why I'm trying to bring Rafa Varane back to France to Olympic Lyon. This would be 
be huge and well he's agreed to join our project this is i think one of our biggest signings there you go for 53 million i've brought in rafa run remember matthias stete he was our backup right winger last season for some reason he's become a free agent now well let's sign him up i quite like him he could be a good backup option again for us and there you go we've managed to sign him as well he's on board with those couple of signings i think all we need is an insane striker we have 87 million and i have a bit of a ridiculous idea i don't know if you remember but ben Sema was a big player at leo all those years ago before he made the move to real madrid and i'm thinking let's bring him back and the fact that he's available for completely free how on earth has this happened i'm gonna sign him up that's it that's gonna be the replacement for lacazette for this season i don't see a problem with that at all after signing benzema we should still have crazy cash left this is a signing i'm 100 doing if we want to win the champions league having players like benzema and Varane will be insane and his wages and contract wasn't too bad we've signed him up as well i legit can't believe we've brought karim benzema back to leo we still have like 80 million left and i've got an idea one position i think we can improve is favre as good as he is 80 pace i'm not digging it i'm actually feeling we should be making ryan Cherky our right winger and let's try and get into the market and sign a better left winger we've got this much cash let's make use of it and so to improve our attack we bring back yet another former player in Memphis Depay. We had to pay 63 million for him, but you look at his stats, bro, it's perfect. To free up space for wingers, I decided to sell Toko Ekambi. Got a good 15 million for him as well. And so with Memphis, Benzema, and Rafa Varan coming in, the experience we've got into this team has just gone up tenfold. Even the bench, I decided to keep Favre because, you know what, he's a good backup option. I made him a left winger. We've got Tete, Rene Adelaide. The, the, the options we have right now, it's, it's looking really bright. We won Liga last season. And the goal now is the Champions League and it's time to begin our journey. It's time now for the Champions League draw. Who are we going to get in our group? It's going to be exciting. And so we have Man City, Ajax and Rangers. That is a ridiculous group. Oh my god. God. But it's time to see if we can compete in Europe's elite club competition with champions of France. But this is a different ball game. I've got to say, we've made some really bold signings, a lot of experience. We have imbalanced our title winning team. It all depends if we can get them playing well together on the pitch. And we're up against it. Man City, if we can beat them, we can beat anyone. I know we're champions of France, but I quickly realized that the Champions League is a completely different ball game. Man City on the front foot already, but Rafa. Of Iran. Oh, what a ball that is for Holland. Post and rebound. That is such a silly goal. Are you kidding me? And we're going to see the stupid celebration as well. Even though the Champions League is unlike anything we've faced before, there's a reason why we signed all these top class players. Oh, here we go. Memphis has got the pace to get through. Memphis, Depay. Oh, he's made that look easy. That's why we've signed quality in our attack. And you'll love to see that celebration back in a Leo shirt for Memphis. Come on. Moran is good. Remembers playing alongside Benzema as he finds him with a brilliant pass. Kareem Benzema. Oh, that is so unlucky. Ryan Cherky on this right side is working so well. And Benzema gets his first goal back in a Leo shirt. You'll love to see that. Benzema and Depay, he could do the impossible this season. Oh, that's a lovely ball for Kamavingo. He's broken through. He's going to lay it off for Benzema. Yet another goal for Karim Benzema. Let's go. So, Leo back in the Champions League. Benzema fires us to a win. This team, man, I think we've built it well. We've made the right signings. And who knows, we might be able to do something special like last season, but this time in the Champions League. Beating Man City is the momentum we needed. And from then on, our front three looked unstoppable. Ryan Cherky, go on. Go on. Oh, that is a lovely finish. Come on. Still Benzema. It's superb. It is genuinely superb how good this man is. He's a Ballon d'Or winner. Of course he's going to be good. Memphis Depay. Oh, that is a lovely power shot. Memphis Depay for you, ladies and gentlemen. And so with that, we managed to top our Champions League group over Man City. Gives me even more confidence for the knockouts. Meanwhile in Liga, even though our focus was in the Champions League, we still kept it super tight in, of course, the league. We're second in the league with a good chance to still win it. Now that we're in January, of course, there are going to be doubts whether we should make signings or not. But if you look at the team, it's gelling well. I do not want to change anything. And so our first test in the Champions League is going to be Borussia Dortmund. 
With the deal we've got, I think we were definitely favourites for the tie, but Dortmund caught me by surprise. This is bad. Penalty. This is bad. This is bad. We concede against Dortmund. Bruno Fernandes for Dortmund. Scoring. Oh, no. No, the first leg ends in a 1-0 defeat. This is not how I'd envisioned this going. It all comes down to this. We need to make a comeback. The champions of France can't be bowing out in the round of 16. No, no, no. In this game, we've tried everything to get a goal against Dortmund, but these guys have literally parked the bus. There isn't much time left. We need to do something. Is this our chance? Benzema. No, it isn't. And that is how the game ends. I can't believe our Champions League journey is ending like this. That is brutal. The champions of France out in the round of 16. With that, I'm now doubting myself. Did I make mistakes with the team's planning? Because our attack wasn't free-flowing in that game. Did we mess up by not having Lacazette in here? Not having Favre, who was really working well for us? He's 85 rated now. I, I don't know. Did we mess the balance up for this team? I don't I don't know man i think i'm gonna put favre back in the team because memphis and benzema when they're together it's chaos because they don't track back for the betterment of the team i think we're gonna have to switch to this our season though is not over we still need to keep pushing to try and win the league once again we're in the situation where this game is basically gonna decide who wins the title leon versus psg no mbappe no mbappe no mbappe no we can end up bottling the league no this is bad this this is really bad at that celebration as well. You're kidding me. This hasn't been the best of seasons for Ryan Cherky, but he can still have his big moment. And he does. We get the equalizer just after Mbappe scored. Ryan Cherky. We let him cook and this is what he does. Benzema, that's a nice pass for Cherky. Come on. He can score and he does it again. Ryan Cherky, when it matters, has stepped up big time. Mbappe again. Mbappe is too good. What is happening in this Liga title decider? And so with that, the game against PSG ended in a draw. And that means PSG have the advantage. Are we going to end up bottling the league? We sim through the rest of our Liga games. It's all dependent on this. Let's find out. Have we won the title or not? No. What a disaster. We lost both the Champions League and Liga this season. I think I really messed up with our recruitment. Signing Benzema and Depay, it just unsettled the squad. Even though Benzema scored a crazy amount of goals, I think it was the wrong play. And one thing I've realized for next season, I'm building this team around Brian Chetke. That's how we won the league title in the first season. That's how I think we're going to win the Champions League. By the way, guys, over 65% of you guys watching my content haven't subscribed. We're trying to push so hard hard for 700k subscribers so if you guys can help me get there that'll be insane so subscribe to my channel i took it in last season no two ways about it we had a great thing going in the team with favre and Cherki on the wings lacazette firing but we kind of ruined it signing a 35 year old ben zimmer who did well but it did bring a bit of imbalance to the team memphis the pie was even worse he didn't even do all that well so this season change of plans i'm gonna bring in a new striker one that's gonna complement Cherki and favre and also i think i'm gonna to get myself a new goalkeeper too because my boy Lopez does not do anything. I'm gonna try and make an absolutely ridiculous signing which I don't think is even possible. We've got 150 million and I want to try and sign Lautaro Martinez, former Inter player. Inter took away Lacazette from us to get a bit of revenge even though Lautaro now plays for Chelsea. I think to make this signing happen I'm gonna have to put Memphis Depay into this deal otherwise it won't be possible. Memphis Depay and about 40 million I think is a great offer. They don't even want Memphis. I don't think I can afford this, guys. I really don't think I can. They won 156 million. Oh my god. We can maybe offer something like 140, but even that is a stretch. They're gonna think about it. I think Lautaro Martinez is a selfless player. He plays for the team, and I think he'd complement our attackers really well. To sign him, I think I'm gonna transfer this Depay and see what happens. We might just have enough money to sign, of course, Lautaro Martinez, but it's gonna be super tight. Let's see. We'll offer him a, a five-year deal that does not matter let's try and offer him to thirty thousand. it leaves us with a bit of cash and it's worked we've managed to sign lautaro and there you go new number nine at leon it's lautaro martinez 140 million for him and that guys is our striker problem solved now i want to try and improve the goalkeeper position but to do that we're gonna have to sell memphis and so memphis depay has been shipped out he's been a great player for leon over these years but it it just wasn't 
working. And would you believe that we sold them to Leicester City for 104 million? Bonkers. Now we use that money and improve our keeper. There's another young Portuguese keeper that'd be a great replacement for Anthony Lopez, and it's Diogo Costa. Let's try doing like a straight swap between the two and see if that will work. Of course, I'll need to put in a bit of cash, but I'm fine with it. And boom, looks like with 46.8 million, we can pull this off. With that, we announced the signing of Diogo Costa, our replacement keeper for Anthony Lopez. And with that, I think my team is ready. We don't need any more changes. This team, I think it's got the perfect balance to win everything. Let's see how things go. With the changes we made in our team, it instantly worked on the pitch. Sherky, once again, skipping past challenge after challenge, and there's the finish. This is his team. I don't care if other players are better overall and all. This is Ryan Cherky's Olympic Lyon. Lautaro and Ryan Cherky linking up so well. There's the chip. It's beautiful. I told you, Lautaro is the kind of player that's going to bring out the best of Ryan Cherky. And so we once again managed to top our Champions League group. But just as everything was going well, we were bound to have our first setback of the season. One of our most integral players in the team, Awa, had suffered an ACL injury. And that is his season over. Although we do have Rene Adelaide, I don't think he's good enough to try and win us the Champions League. And I really feel like the rest of the team deserves the Champions League this season. So we've got only one choice. I think we need to delve into the market and bring in another midfielder. And there was only one midfielder, I believe, that was perfect for the job and that fits our budget. Nabil Fekir. We're bringing him back to Olympic Lyon. Managed to sign him for just 46 million for an emergency signing. That's a dub. And I think the kind of player he is, he's going to slot right into that Awa role. It's tough losing out on Awa, but I think we've replaced him pretty well. It was now time for the Champions League knockout. Sadly, though, we did not have Lautaro Martinez for this game, which is a big upset. But that's why we kept Benzema so that he can still contribute. We have Fekir. This time, we need to make it past the round of 16. I really thought we were going to miss Awa but with Fekir coming in, we looked even better. Nabil Fekir, spaces have opened up really well for him and Fekir scores on his return to Leo. This is iconic. Oh, Cherki controls that one really well. Proper chance for him and off the post and in. Ryan Cherki, this is still his team. With Real Sociedad out of the Champions League, we move on to our next hurdle. That's Napoli. As good as Napoli are, Lautaro knows how to beat them with his inter past and well, that's what he did. Lautaro Martinez knows the Italian football style really well, taking advantage of it and scores. What a strike. Fekir. Oh, Lautaro's made the nice run open and on the volley. Brilliant finish. The goal to send us through to the semi-finals. With Napoli out of the picture, we've now got our toughest challenge yet in the Champions League. It's Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. We need to maybe take a page out of Monaco's book because I remember last time when they were in the Champions League, they managed to knock City out. But of course, they did have Kylian Mbappe with them. But honestly, I really feel like our team is capable of this. This is going to be massive. All this space that's opened up here. Ryan Cherky taking advantage of it. That's a lovely ball. And he moves forward and he scores. Ryan Cherky against City. Against all odds. We've taken the lead at Etihad. I don't think City expected a team with this intensity. Ryan Cherky does it again. This kid is something special. Ryan Cherky. Lautaro makes a brilliant dummy run for him. And Ryan Cherky completes his hat trick. I can't believe it. In the Champions League, he scored a hat-trick. Surely we're through to the final now. And yes, that first leg Cherky masterclass was enough to send us through to the final where we're up against PSG. This is so fitting. The club that's caused the downfall of clubs like Lyon, Marseille, and every other team in French football, we've got a chance to deny them the trophy they want the most. This is the team that's got us here. It's been an amazing journey. Now just one game left. Of course, got to show you all what happened in Liga and well, 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 we managed to get the better of PSG, our second league title over these three seasons. Wow, look at Cherky. I told you, this is his team. He was that guy for us. 37 goals. I only just realized we won't have Fekir for this game. This is bad. Is there anything I can do? Awa isn't fit as well. We, we don't really have any backup options. Do you know what? I might just play Benzema center forward. I just don't see any other options, really. I think we should go with 
with a 4-4-2. That would work. I know this is absolutely crazy what we're doing. A 4-4-2 against PSG. But hey, you know what? Injuries, suspensions, whatever. Of course, this. Let's do it. Plus, I think the Champions League final experience that Ben Zemmer has could be invaluable. One last game to restore Olympique Lyon's glory. Oh, Mbappe, no, Mbappe, no! It's always him! It's always him! That's the worst possible start. Oh, Ryan Chetky, there's the pace. There's the pace, and there's the chance. Ryan Chetky puts it wide! I can't believe it! After that Mbappe goal, we struggled in that first half, but in the second half, the mentality changed, and well, look what happened. Benzema, Favre now. We need to get a goal back into this game and Lautaro Martinez, right place, right time. The perseverance pays off. But just as we got back into the game, Mbappe did the impossible. Mbappe with the chance to win the game for PSG. Oh my god, that is an utterly ridiculous free kick. No, Mbappe has just done that. I can't believe it. That Mbappe free kick should have demoralized us, but this team, they're mentality monsters. We weren't backing down. Ryan Cherky, it feels like something has clicked in him. He's, he's feeling like a different player. Favre now. It's the same play we used to score the first time. And we use it again. Lautaro scores. But Cherky helped create that. Let's go. Benzema sees the run of Cherky. This is his moment. It has to be him. And it is him. Cherky in the 90th minute. You can't write this. Ryan Cherky. I told you at the start of the video. He's going to be the man. And he's the man. That's brought Leo to greatness, to Champions League glory. That was the last kick of the game. We've won Leo the Champions League after PSG humbled us last season by taking away the league title. We've come back to win it all with Leo. And there you go. We've got our captain lifting the Champions League trophy. If you enjoyed this journey with Leo, I'm sure you'll enjoy me fix Sevilla. Fix somewhere to watch that.